hello everyone welcome back to my channel that is science unlocked and in today's session we are going to continue with our class 6th science ncrt textbook series where we are choosing the chapter that is body movement now the term movement on the whole means that whenever we are talking about any kind of change now it's quite simple that when we are talking about the body movements it is going to be the kind of change in the position of the body part or maybe the whole body with respect to one specific situation or condition which is going to be one of the most significant feature in all the living beings now there are different set of activities and different set of movements that we observe in our day to day life which involves various set of movements for example bending rotating and changing the overall position using our different body parts all together so for all these movements we have an important aspect that is all these movements in case of hard structures like bones it is only and only possible because of the kinds of joints that we have in our body which we can actually observe with different ways and different resources and one such resource is the x-ray where you can actually see that your internal structure is made up of bones and uh, certain joints which are collectively considered as skeleton or the whole system is simply considered as skeletal system where this particular structure is acting as the support for our existence in terms of movements on the other hand it helps in the maintenance and support of the different organs that we have in our body so all together we can say that these joints are going to play an important role in our day to day life now as we all know very well that each and every part of our body are going to have different set of functions which are specific to them similarly the structures that we have in case of our body and to be more specific the skeletal system they will going to perform some specific functions and they will going to be different altogether so let's get into the different set of joints that we have in our body now altogether the joints can be named differently depending on that what is the level of terminologies that we are using but broadly there are four categories of joints that we have where the first one is ball and socket joint the next is pivotal joint then we have the hinge joint and then we have the fixed joints so altogether we will going to learn about these kinds of uh, joints in detail so the first one over here is the ball and socket joint as the name itself is suggesting this particular structure will going to have one end of the bone which will going to look like as if it is the part of a ball whereas the other part will going to look like as if it is a fitting socket altogether which is observed in case of the pelvic as well as pectoral girdle where we are going to observe that the structure is all together in a specific way out that is there is a proper socket in which a ball like structure is getting fixed and which because it is a ball like structure a spherical structure it actually helps in the movement in all the different directions so that is how this particular name and its function are related with each other the next aspect that we have is the pivotal joint this particular joint is majorly responsible for functions like rotation twisting extension and flexibility and it is observed in case of our neck region so as we know that the neck is able to do different set of movements all together these are only and only possible because of this specific kind of joint that is the pivotal joint whereas there is going to be a cylindrical structure which will going to be present in the ring and because of this ring and cylindrical structure we will be having the directions uh, in which the body will be moving or the body part will be moving and that is how we will be able to do all these kinds of movements all together the third category of joint that we have is the hinge joint which is actually appearing as if it is a hinge altogether that we observe in case of doors and windows that there will going to be 
two jo two bones which are joined together in the form of a 90 degree angle and over here we will going to find out that they will be able to do a back and forth movement just like the movement in case of the hinges now this kind of structure is observed in case of knee and elbow on the other hand there are certain more examples that i have taken in the picture the next category that we have here is the fixed joint which majorly talks about the phenomena of fused joints means these are the kinds of joints which are going to be joined together as if they are glued together means there is some adhesive which is join which is actually keeping the two parts together and we can actually see the crease line or the line of adhesive property which we will going to be able to easily observe when we are observing the structure or the different set of fixed joint and because they are fixed this kind of joint is only for the measurement of the strength in that particular bo bone or the combination of bone and this particular structure is only there for the purpose of support and not for the movement so over here we will going to observe that there will not going to be any kind of movement and the structure altogether will going to remain fixed the example in case of skull is that the upper part of the skull will going to remain fixed whereas the lower jaw will going to be movable the reason behind that is the joint with which the lower jaw is connected is a, a movable joint or you can say a normal kind of joint on the other hand the rest of the regions or the rests of the joints that we observe in case of skull they all are fixed joints so this is how we are go uh, we have completed the section of different set of joints that we have in our body which are responsible for different set of functions in terms of movements that in which direction they are moving and how they are moving so this is all about today's session rest we will going to continue in our next session till then take care and keep learning